Hi there, John McKinnon here to give you a brief technical overview of Toolhound 6. I'll also outline the minimum requirements for hosting Toolhound 6 on-premise. Toolhound has used Microsoft development tools for many years now, and that has not changed with Toolhound 6. .NET Core 3.1 is Microsoft's latest runtime. It is open source and can execute applications that are built for it. ASP.NET Core is a collection of libraries that form a framework for building web applications to run on .NET Core. Toolhound 6 is built with ASP.NET Core and runs on the .NET Core runtime. SQL Server tightly integrates with ASP.NET ASP Core. These technologies together provide a framework for producing very performant applications. HTML5 is the latest evolution of the standard that defines HTML. HTML is the code that defines a web page. HTML provides the structure of the web page, cascading style sheets or CSS take care of the presentation, and JavaScript makes the web page interactive. All the big name browsers, Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari, and more support HTML5. Silverlight, which was a browser technology used in Toolhound 5, is not used in Toolhound 6. ASP.NET Web APIs. What does that mean? In simple, in simple terms, an application programming interface, or API, is some kind of interface which has a set of functions that allow programmers to access specific features or data of an application. A web API is an API which can be accessed over the web using the HTTP protocol. We have built the underlying layer of Toolhound 6 using ASP.NET Web APIs. These APIs are used by both the Toolhound 6 web application and the Toolhound 6 mobile applications. If you have the resources to do so, you can also programmatically access and use the Toolhound 6 web APIs. Let's quickly go over the requirements for Toolhound 6. Microsoft Windows Server 2016 R2 is the minimum server OS. Microsoft SQL Server 2016 is the minimum SQL Server database version. On your server OS, you should have at least IIS 8, 2 gigs of RAM, and 150 gigabytes of hard drive space. Of course, more is always better. If you're looking at a cloud subscription, cloud subscriptions are hosted by, on Azure by Toolhound. Client or browser requirements are fairly straightforward. Because Silverlight is no longer used, any of the major browsers should work with Toolhound 6. And copy and paste can be used again. Yay! Thanks for watching and enjoy Toolhound 6.